Welcome to this really fun tutorial, news and updates from Adobe. Over to you, Flowmotion. Thanks a lot, Rick. So today we're diving headfirst into the game-changing updates across the Adobe Creative Cloud. This isn't just a refresh, it's a creative revolution. We've got massive new features in After Effects. The insane new masking in Premiere and the AI powerhouses harmonize and upscale in Photoshop. So let's jump into After Effects. Because After Effects is finally getting some serious native 3D love. Say hello to parametric meshes and substance materials. Think of these as the 3D versions of your beloved shape layers. Uh, spheres, cubes, cones, they're all here and they are fully customizable. You can create them by going to Layer, New and pick your shape from the list. Or the smarter way, use the new mesh drawing tool right in the compositing window. What about their look? Hm. Tweak the material properties right in the properties panel. We're talking roughness, metallic, emission color, simple physically based rendering controls to make your mesh look like plastic or metal or everything in between. Hey, and they also cast and receive shadows. Now, this is where the texture gets real. You can now import substance materials, SBSAR files. So, what are they? Hmm. They are dynamic adjustable materials that can give your 3D models and parametric meshes almost any look, from photoreal wood to stylized comic book shading. Adobe has over a thousand free textures for you to get you started. So just go to your Creative Cloud app, click on Stock and Marketplace, select 3D and click on Free Assets. Import them into your project, select your 3D layer and assign the material. Then customize everything, offset, rotation, repeat, and the material's specific properties. Well, let me show you. I just created this sphere. Import a moon texture and select it as my texture. No need to bring it into my comp. And in the properties filter, you can now adjust all parameters. Hey, and this is super cool because each shader comes with specific presets and parameters. For example, for the moon, I can adjust its creators, but as mentioned, you have different settings for each texture. So it really makes sense to play around with this a bit. The coolest part about this, if you have a 3D object with multiple shaders, you can import those and customize each material differently. Now let's jump to After Effects Little Sister. Premiere Pro, uh, no. Actually, because of today, Premiere Pro is officially called Premiere. I think to make the naming more consistent with all the other Adobe software names. So if you call it Pro, you are not a pro anymore. So this new feature is with your brain. Because now object masking is your new superpower. Masking has always been a pain in the ass, or no one has really done it in Premiere Pro because it wasn't working, and it's <laughs> handle it at all. But not anymore. Premiere's new AI-powered object masking is going to save you hours, if not days. As of today, creating complex masks of moving subjects is now a matter of hover and click. Seriously. <laughs> So let's find the object mask right here in your toolbar. Hover over our raccoon or any other animal or bike or object in your clip and a visual overlay snaps into place. This part is filmed in real time by the way, so you see how fast this goes. Also the tracking I'll show you in a second is real time. Now click it. Done. All we have to do now is to track forward or backwards, depending on where you started. It's lightning fast, real-time preview and four times up to 20 times faster tracking than before. And as we now have created a mask, we can copy and paste or drag it onto anything we want. For example, an effect. So let's blur the whole clip with a camera lens blur effect and simply drag and drop the mask onto the effect. Or copy and paste it onto the opacity and we have created a cutout mask or an alpha channel. 
Also, you can use the fast lasso and rectangular tools to add or subtract areas. Hey, and even the classic shape masks are getting an upgrade. Ellipse, rectangle and pen masks now also track up to 20 times faster with new 3D perspective tracking. And a quick side note, Premiere is now also available with professional quality editing on your iPhone. For free, really, also no subscription required. Okay, jumping over to Photoshop for two brilliant new AI features that tackle two of the biggest headaches in compositing and image quality. <sighs> Tired of manually matching colors? Light and shadows when compositing? Work smart, not hard. Harmonize does the heavy lifting. Insert your object, remove the background, size and place it, and then just click Harmonize in the contextual taskbar. Photoshop's AI analyzes the background and adjusts the inserted elements, lighting, colors, shadows, and contextual details like reflections to create a realistic, seamless composite. It collapses a complex, multi-step edit into a single click. Speed and realism. But that's not all. Dealing with low-res assets or pixelated Gen AI content? Generative upscale is your fix. Using partner models like Topaz, you can now boost image quality, increase resolution and sharpen details directly inside Photoshop. Simply go to the options bar, image, generative upscale. Choose between gigapixel for precise detail preserving upscaling or bloom for creative upscaling that adds artistic details. Perfect every pixel, improve blurry files and create higher quality assets without the manual grid. Okay, that's a wrap on the biggest creative updates of the year. From native 3D in After Effects to AI powered masking in Premiere and the quality of life boosts in Photoshop. There's no excuse not to level up your workflow and update. So let me know in the comments which features you're most excited about. And hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun updating your programs. No animals were harmed during this tutorial. Playing the benefit of AI.